Hello, it's Mariah Lisa, and I am back today with my second mini history lesson. Um, the first one I did was on the diaspora in the Americas, and I specifically concentrated on um, North America the most, and I did a overview of the other nations that the enslaved Africans were dispersed to um, in just the other areas that they were in. And today I am going to do a follow up to that lesson and specifically go into Central and South America. Okay, so first I do teach my students American history because we are African Americans. And so after we come, out, come from our Africa studies, we go straight into our American studies and they can put that together because they are indeed African American. But even in American history, and you'll see in that video, uh, the first um, installment of it, you'll see that I do mention all of the Americas and how we were dispersed there. Um, but I just, again, give a quick overview of the other nations and I concentrate on North America. But today, I'm going to talk about the dispersion in the Central and South American regions. Alright, so you'll see this chart load up. It's going to be the same five nations. Okay, um, first, Britain. And then, they already know from last year, North America was occupied um, by Great Britain, or many of the enslaved Africans were coming from underneath, you know, um, British rule and okay so we start with Britain and the lands in either mostly Central America um, that are Britain oppressed or Britain occupied are Barbados, Belize, Guyana, Jamaica and some Caribbean islands like the Cayman Islands or the Bahamas um, or even Grenada and so they speak English there so one of the things that I um, would like my students to understand is the group of people who are in rule or who, who have conquered that land um, leave their language on the people they are oppressing. And so one sign to understand kind of like who's the oppressor here and even to get some historical background immediately is language. You're speaking the language of the person who has conquered you or occupied your people. All right, and so second Dutch, um, we have Suriname, Aruba, and some islands off the coast of Venezuela, and of course they speak English um, and or Dutch. And then the third, we have France, and so that is going to be Haiti, um, French Guyana, and some West Indian islands. I didn't write every single one or I wouldn't have enough space in the box but we do study them individually as we are learning about this history. And then obviously the language spoken there are French and Creole, and then in Portugal, um, those enslaved Africans occupied by Portugal were sent to Brazil, they speak Portuguese, and then Spain, um, lots of enslaved Africans under Spanish rule are in Mexico and pretty much the rest of the Latin American countries, and I'll list some for example, like Cuba or Puerto Rico or Colombia or Argentina, Peru, Chile, Bolivia, etc. And they speak Spanish. So in American history, I give them that overview. When we get to Latin history, this chart is not new. It's the same chart. We just specifically break down those lands and islands that belong to Central and South America. So that when we get to those nations, my students understand, ah, oh, okay, I know who the conqueror or the oppressor is and you know where are my people in this group or maybe even the mixed people in this group and then they understand why they're speaking that same language right and so I do things like I'll show them a person who is from Jamaica um, a African-American um, a person an African-American um, or a person of African descent who's from Mexico or from Cuba, etc. right? 
and I line them up and I'm like, these people look like the same people. Would you say they're all black? And of course, they're all like, oh yeah, they're black. You see Lonzo Lonzo, Celia Cruz, um, Oprah Winfrey, Bob Marley. Um, they can see, you know, that all of these people have African descent. And so I asked them, but why does Bob Marley speak English? as well as Oprah Winfrey speaks English, but Lonzo Alonso would speak Spanish, or he's probably both, but he speaks Spanish originally, and Celia Cruz being from Cuba, you know, speaks Spanish, and um, I know we have a person from Haiti as well. They speak French, like why is this happening? And so obviously with them being able to chart this out, they're easily able to understand the same people different oppressor in terms of which European group of people. And so that's important they understand that because when we get to world history in our seventh grade year and then of course later on into high school we go into even, even deeper uh, meanings and topics of, of history, they're able to go, oh, and they can connect a lot of dots. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe. Um, you can follow me on my blog, morashali.com, and I'll see you next time. Shalom.